In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you how to mix multiple normal maps together in the shader editor. Now before we start this video, I wanted to let you know about my sci-fi normal map decals asset pack, which comes with 50 different normal map sci-fi decal image textures. And so you can use the sci-fi decals to add lots of sci-fi details to your models. If you're interested in learning more about the pack, then you can find the product trailer video linked in the video description, and also the product pages linked in the video description. So from my sci-fi decals asset pack, I'm just going to drop in this decal right here. And so normally how you just added a normal map is you drop the normal map here, you would change the color space to a non-color because it is a normal map, so you want to set it to non-color, and then you'd search for a normal map and drop this here. Now the color can go into the color of the normal map, and then the normal map normal can go into the normal of your shader. Now you can see the texture is repeating itself, so if you don't want it to repeat itself, you can click on the repeat here, and you can click on extend, and that way there's just going to be one normal map, or if you're using some sort of normal map, which is maybe like a ground texture, or a dirt texture, or rock texture or something and you want it to repeat itself, if it's a tileable seamless texture, you can just leave it to repeat. But since I'm using a decal, I'm just going to set the repeat to extend. So now what we need to do is go over here to the UV editor and you can scale the UVs and you can move the UVs around and that is going to move around the decal. So I can scale it and rotate it and just stick the decal wherever I want. So let's go back to the shading workspace. Well, what if I want to mix multiple normal maps together? Maybe I have like a normal map, which is maybe like a grunge texture, or maybe I want to add another decal. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop in another decal, and I'm going to duplicate this normal map, drop it here, and I can put the color into the color, and let's plug the normal into the normal so I can preview it. And again, I want to set the repeat to extend since this is a decal, but that is optional. And then also the color space needs to be set to non-color because it is a normal map. So we now have this one here and then this one here, but I want to mix them both together. So to do this, I need to search for the mix color. And I'm going to select the normal maps and drag them back. And I'm going to drop the mix color right in here. And then what I want to do is put the bottom one into color B and the top one into color A. So we can now delete this normal map because we're mixing them both together. So now let's plug the normal here into the normal. Now to properly mix them together, we need to change the mix here to overlay. And then I can drag up the factor and you can see that's going to add the second normal map over the top one. So you can see if I just control shift select it to preview it, here's the first one and then here's the second one. And then we're mixing Mixing that together and so now that's going into the normal map and finally that's going into the principal shader. So we've now mixed two different normal maps together. However the problem with this is that they're overlapping and if I go to the UV editor and try to move the UVs around it's moving both of them around at once. So let's go back here to the shading workspace. Now one simple thing I could do is select one of the decals, press Control T to add the texture coordinate mapping and I could change like the scale of it and I could change the rotation and I could also change the location to kind of move the decal around so you can see now the decal is right over there. But what if I want more customizable control? So I'm just going to delete these textures. So what I'm going to do is create two different UV maps, and we're going to assign each UV map to each one of these textures. So to do this, I'm going to search for the UV map node, and I'll plug this one into the vector, and then I'll duplicate the UV map and plug this one into this vector. So now here on the dropdown, I can choose the first UV map, but I want to create a second UV map. So if I open up the side panel, I can click right over here to go to the object data properties. And I'm going to click on the plus here to create a new UV map on the UV maps tab. And so this one I could rename to like UV map one. This one here I could rename this to UV map two. So now here on the drop down I can use UV map one. And then on this one I can use UV map two. So now we need to edit the UVs. So if I just click right over here to go to the UV editing workspace, I can scroll right over here and you can see we can select the first and second UV map. So if I just select the second one and then move it around, I can just drop the decal or the normal map right there. But then if I want to edit the first one, I can click right over here to scroll over and click here and I can select the first UV map. So the first UV map is going to edit this one and the second UV map is going to edit that one. So let's go back to the shading workspace. Now what if you have three or four or even more normal maps? Well what I can do is select the overlay and I can duplicate it and drop it here and then I'm going to select the UV map and this image and I'm going to duplicate them, drop them down here and I can plug this texture color up to color B and so that way we're mixing all three of them together. And then what I'm going to do is click on this file icon to add a new decal. So from Blender's file browser, I'll just choose this one right here and click on open image. And then again, you can 
can change this to extend if you don't want it to repeat itself. And then also it's really important is to change the decal or the normal map to a non-color. So now what I want to do is just add another UV map to edit this one. So if I open up the side panel, click on the plus here to create a new UV map. This one I can rename to UV map 3. And then here on this UV map node, we can choose UV map 3. So now what I can do is just click back here to go to the UV editing workspace. And I can scroll my mouse right over here and I can select the third UV map that we created. So if I just select everything, I can move the UV map around and just stick it right there. And now you can see that we've added three different normal maps together. Now if I go back here to the shading workspace, let's say that you're using like a bump node with maybe a procedural texture. So for example, I could add like a noise texture, I could hit Control T, and I could use the object coordinates. So normally how you would turn a black and white texture into a normal is you would search for the bump node. Drop this here, and I can plug the factor into the height, and then the bump normal can go into the normal of the shader. So now you can see it looks really bumpy, and then there's two ways to change the strength. You can either turn the strength down, or also you can turn the distance down. So I might turn this distance to a really small number. And so now the cube looks like it just has a little bit of bump there on the surface with that noise. So what if we want to mix the normal map and the bump map together? Well, the bump map has this normal socket here. So if I just drag this down here and move these over, I can just take the final normal map and I can put that into the normal. And so that's going to mix them together. So you can see we now have four different normal maps. We have the noise texture, which is being converted into a normal with the bump. And then we have the three different decals and they're all being added onto the cube. So that's how you can mix multiple normal maps together. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you're interested in getting an asset pack which comes with lots of different decals then definitely check out my decal normal map asset pack which comes with 50 different decal normal maps and so you can add them to your projects to add lots of sci-fi details to your model. So all of the product links are in the video description. And finally if you'd also like to learn how to texture bake your own decals to a normal map, then I also have a video on that, so I'll have the link to that in the video description. So I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.